Hi guys, welcome to another video. This uh, in this video, this this one here, um, I'm going to create a drop down list that is going to be used for localization. So I have a, a group of flags, I have a, a collection of flags, and I'm going to populate a list box with those images and some text as well that I'm going to generate on the fly based on the name of the sprite. Uh, and I'm going to create a drop down list box for like a localization screen, for example, for your game, because you know you need to get that out there to as many territories as possible to make make a demo much the moolah um so yeah uh that all begins after the fade i was asked to uh look into doing a video about creating images in a drop down list and i have another video about doing drop down lists which is up there um i hope that's the right <laughs> the right direction i think it's the right direction i try and remember it's up to up there anyway uh and the uh, that in that video, I show you how to use a drop-down list uh, programmatically, and I'm going to show you uh, how to do a drop-down list in here, but we're going to add some images to it. So uh, let's get started. Um, I have, let me just make sure I'm recording this, uh, because um, I had an accident with another video. So I'm just going to make sure I'm recording this. So this is what uh, we should be seeing right about just now okay um all right so i'm going to add uh, a drop down list to the mix uh, and here's my drop down list and you'll see that i'm going to, just going to dump it right in the middle of the the screen here and over on the inspector panel inside the hierarchy you'll see that it has quite a lot of uh, items inside there and all of them seem to be hidden inside this template um, uh, object here, which we'll come back to in just a sec. But the one I want to look at just now is over in the drop-down script over here. So uh, in the drop-down script, these are the current options that we have. So if we run this scene, then it's going to have option A, and you see that we've got option B and option C and so on. Okay, so we don't want them. We actually want to, to populate uh, this with our own uh, items here but uh, if we go back over here watch what happens over in the hierarchy so when you select option b uh, or sorry rather when you open this you'll see that it opens up the, this drop down and this drop down has a template attached it also has a drop down list it has a viewport it has content and inside there is all the options that you've got here and how does it get all this well it turns out that it actually creates all these objects on the fly um, so we're going to have to manipulate those objects um, to create our own drop down list because the this template isn't exactly fit for purpose it's a good start and it allows for a lot of opportunities but a lot of people um, don't understand how this bit here works uh, over in the drop down script and this is what we're going to concentrate on just now so uh, the first thing is it needs the template so if I click on this it will highlight the template inside here so you see that we have a drop down list and we have the the template inside here uh, it also has uh, a list a link to the viewport and you'll see that the viewport is inside the template as well and then inside there we have content and inside there we have our item and these are all the items inside uh, the checkbox. Uh, it also has uh, these items here which is label and arrow. So the label is the currently selected item. Now we want to change that so that it's going gonna, it's gonna to show an image. Um, so what we need to do is we need to go down to, we're going to zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to move this over just a tad and I'm, <laughs> I'm regretting calling out what I call these things here, but I'm just going to leave it as is. Uh, I'm going to create another object in here and this time it's going to be of type image and you see it's quite large. Uh, I think I've got my, this, let me just turn this so we can brighten the screen up a bit. Okay. That's a little bit better. So I'm going to put this image here. And I'm going to try and keep it as square as possible because the, the graphics I have are, are quite square as well. Uh, if you're wanting the source images for this and, and all this kind of, this is going to be in the repository. If you look in the, the show notes video description below, then you'll see the, the, um, 
the, the link there. Um, sorry. Uh, and then just to sort of space this up, we'll, we'll uh, give it an image. So we'll give it the, the Polish flag just to sort of give our sort of template. So now when we run this uh, and we choose option A, we can choose option B, option C, and option D, and all that kind of stuff. And that image stays there. Uh, so we can now move option A a little bit uh, over a bit. So you see that we're, we're starting to build this up and we're going we're gonna to create a drop down list that's going to have these flags inside here and the flags are then going to represent the countries that they, they have. So we're going to, it's gonna, basically going to be a drop down list to, you know, maybe uh, do localization later on inside your program. So we have our, our Polish flag there as a sort of um, our template starter. Uh, we also need to, inside here we have our items which we have background, check mark, and label. So if I go to template and I enable it, you'll see that we have this. This is the actual drop down list that gets created when you um, when you click on the, the drop down arrow. And you'll see that we have a, a check mark there which shows the currently selected item. And then we have the name of the currently selected item. So what we want to do is we want to move this one over just a little bit, just a little bit just now, and we're going to add another. Um, we're going to add another image at this point here. So we're going to do uh, create UI image, and that's going to create our image. And we're going to try and keep this as sort of small and square as possible. So roughly that size, that's good enough. And we'll align it with the center. And I'm going to give this one the just a sort of default and we'll just make this the Polish flag as well because it doesn't really matter which flag we've got and we might as well be consistent with it and we'll drag that across there and I will save my scene and I will call this flags drop down and I will hide the template now this is the important part because we don't want anything to be shown inside um, inside the, the uh, UI. So now when we run this, uh, we still have our option A, but we now have all our options here. Now you notice that I've kind of made a mistake there. So obviously I need to adjust it slightly. So I'll go back to my template, open it up a little bit, and I'll nudge that along. Um, I think it should be okay if I align it that way. That would probably drag it across there, so I'll just keep it aligned there. And I'll kill the template. And we'll play. And there we go, that's better. So we've got everything aligned to there. So now option B, option C, and so on. Okay, so that's that's the sort of first step is to create the template. And you can change this, you can change the backgrounds of all of these items. If you click on item background, for example, you can change the, the actual sprite that's shown and, and all this kind of stuff. So I'll leave that to, to you to change these things. You can even change the check mark as well. So if you, um, maybe, um, maybe you don't want the check mark to be displayed, um, or maybe you, want the, maybe you want that to be the flag so that you, only show the flag for the checked item, or you know, those kind of those, those are the kind of things that you guys can work out for your uh, particular game. Um, so now we go to drop down, and this is where these items come into. Sorry, I'm clicking the wrong thing here. Uh, this is where these items come into to uh, play. So the first one is the caption image, and the second one is the item image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this template again. And you'll see that we have this image down here. Uh, I'm going to rename this uh, option image. And I'm going to rename this image caption image. OK. And now that's going to make it a little bit easier when we drag these across. So the first thing is asked for is the um, caption image. So I am going to drag the caption image across to here. And you see that this now disappears because we don't actually have anything set for it. And then we're going to do the same thing for our option image. We're going to drag that across there to our item image. So now, fingers crossed, it should now just not have those options there. So we still have we still have the um, 
the graphics, but we, we're just not seeing them, that's all. Okay, so we're done. As far as the UI is concerned, we're finished. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to do code because what I want to do is I want to get these images, uh, which are all sprites, I want to get them into this list. So first things first, let's get rid of the list items. So I'm going to select these list items uh, and I'm going to remove them. Uh, I should mention at this point, and I forgot in the original video, which is why I'm uh, not dressed the same, is that if you don't want to have this, I'm going to turn this off here just now. So I'm going to, uh, if you just want to have uh, hard coded values in here, it's actually quite easy to do. All you need to do is go to the drop down canvas and then you can specify, you just add your options in here. So maybe you want uh, English, um, French, and Polish. So something like that. And then you just drag and drop your. Uh, sprites across as normal, so you got your English across here, English sprite there, and then your Polish sprite there, and then the values are hard coded, so you don't need to worry too much about. I'll sc scroll into that there, uh, and so you've got your English, French, uh, and Polish. Um, uh, those languages that are then hard coded in there, just if you didn't want to go through the the, the programming route, which we are about to go through. Uh, because I don't want those list items in there. Uh, and I'm going to create uh, a new um, blank object uh, and I'm going to call this um, fly, or let's call it localization helper, something like that. And I'm going to create a script in here and my script is, I'm just going to call it localization helper as well. And I'm going to double click that and that will boot up the Visual Studio. It shouldn't take any time. I've been playing with Visual Studio all day today. So, um, okay. So I want to get a hook into this uh, drop down box. So I'm going to have public drop down. Uh, what's it called again? <laughs> What's the name of the script again? It's called dropdown. Okay. Um, and I call it dropdown. Tooltip. Um, the drop down box to populate with flags. And of course, we need to add our UI. And then we also want to have public. Sprite uh, flags. Tool tip the languages, or sorry, the flags of the languages that our game supports. Now I've added a little wrinkle to this uh, because my names uh, are de dot and then whatever it is, and that's because my um, uh, um, that's because I'm going to have to go to here now. Um, that's because, sorry, um, I just disappeared there for a sec. Um, that's because <laughs> for the fourth time, uh, your localization is going to have a code in it, and that's going to be either EN for English, DE for German, FR for French, all that kind of stuff. And you're going to have, you know, different ones for Brazilian, Portuguese, all that kind of stuff. So, but you want to have um, a visible one as well. So you want to have Deutsche instead of uh, German, instead, you know. So that's the reasoning behind it. Uh, but it just makes things a little bit more complicated for us. Um, okay, so public, uh, actually, sorry, void start. So when we start, I'm going to clear the drop down list of any items just in case there's anything in there. There shouldn't be, but just in case there is. So drop down dot uh, options uh, clear, uh, clear options. And then I want to add every single one of those options back in. So I'm going to do drop down dot add options. And then I've got a list of options there, and I've also got a list of sprites. So 
what can I do? Let's do list uh, drop down. Is it option? Oh, what's it called again? Drop down dot add options, and it's drop down dot option data. Drop down dot option data uh, flag items is new option data. And then I'm going to say drop down dot add options flag items. Uh, and now I need to get those flags into uh, this item here. So I'm going to say for each um, sprite in, actually let's do each flag in flags. Um, and then I want to take those and then convert that into there. So I want to do a new one of these. So I'm going to do var um, flag option equals new, all of that. And then I can specify a sprite, a, a string, or a text, and an image. So for now, I just want to do flag.name, comma, flag because I want to get the name of it but I'm going to strip the it out of the dot there and then I want to do flag items dot add flag option and that's that and then tidy that up so when we go to here, I'm going to uh, click on my localization helper, and then I'm going to add my uh, localization helper class. And now I want to drop, drag and drop this drop down. Try saying that five times fast. Drag and drop this drop down to that drop down field. Wow. <laughs> uh, and then I want to get the flags in here. So I'm not going to bother too much with the, the, the order of them. So I'm just going to drag and drop these uh, in the order that they're listed here. So I've got English and I've got French and I have Polish. Uh, and so those are our flags that we support uh, in, our, in our game. And then when I press play, uh, you'll see that we have our first flag is selected, which is German. And then we have our Scottish flag, and we have our English flag, and then we have our French flag, and then our Polish flag. And that's it. I mean, we're, we're pretty much done at this point, but I, I do want to tidy it up a little bit. So I want to say um, int um, dot equals flag name dot index of and then the character is dot and then I want to say actually I want to do string flag name equals flag dot name so just in case we can't find this if I can find a dot I want to strip the dot out and I want to put that inside um, I, I just want to put things to the right of the dot so if dot is greater than or equal to zero. I want to say flag name equals flag name dot substring and then whatever the position of the dot is plus one. And I want every other character to the right of that. And now we're done. This is it. We're done. So this is not a lot of code. There's like 34 lines of code here and most of them are tool tips and pardon me, class definitions and using statements and, and other crap that you've got to put in with uh, C sharp. Um, and that's it. We're, we have our we have our localization. Um, except that didn't work. Why did that not work? What? Oh, because I never set it. That's why. Idiot. Okay. Right now, uh, it helps if you actually set the right value there. So now, when we run it, we'll see just. The name. So we get German, Scottish, English, French, Polish, and whatever. 
So just in case you're wondering what Scottish means, I mean things like, all right mate, how's things? How's it hanging by the way? It's totally mad mental and so forth and such like. That kind of thing. Um, I'm not going to do my German or my French or my Polish, but uh, you get the general gist of it. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Uh, that is images with a drop down list. Um, well, what can I say? I have been plagued with uh, technical difficulties as far as uh, as far as recording things are concerned. So um, I, I do apologise. It seems that it's my my lot in life over the last couple of weeks that, that things have gone missing or, or whatever. Uh, hopefully this audio recording is working. Um, Anyway, uh, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. Let me know uh, either way, you know, whether you liked it or not or, or whatever. Uh, don't forget that the full code is in the, in the link below to the, the repository. Uh, and the repository's got a whole bunch of things in there as well. Uh, all my other videos and all that kind of stuff are, are... I'm trying to get all my other videos in there. I haven't got them just yet. But that's, that's going to be where my code lives, is inside that repository. And I'm going to try and do branches and things as well to sort of filter things out, because the Manic Miner thing, um, I'm not going to bother going into that in, in this video. Anyway, uh, I do appreciate your time, and, and uh, thank you for uh, stopping by and, and uh, watching me uh, faff around in code. Um, I, I very much appreciate it. So uh, until next time, uh, take care, and I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next video.